consider the role of radiocarbon setting in the human record. Tracing the passage of time with a hard-on, or the passage of what was thrown away. Our measure is the rate of decay, pulling the straps of history together, shells from the midden tossing us back to barefoot antiquity. There stands our wanderer. First catch stiff on the line. in the ice core, every string and tune and singing, some animals sense it before it happens, they can smell the next wave coming. Cosmic rays stroke the atmosphere, their smoky signal burnished by our passing. Wave after wave, spinning the dial against the background hiss of creation. Measuring out our time to the core, dancers at the back of the cave guttering torches in the mind's eye. Signals run out beyond here. From this point on, the choir becomes a murmur, then vanishes. Water running silent beneath ice. We bury our dead in the ground and listen. The gauze curtain of cosmic forces that calibrate a human hair, rippling like a field of wheat through air, sackcloth through the ether, another medium we don't believe in anymore. Vanishing point. We're shouting in the last hours of illumination. Guest workers free running through the Roman dig behind the wreck until they reach the meadow, thickening in the frame to the lower interglacial. Tectonics folding words into the mouth as the sky sets in ice at the churned entrance to the site. Pockets of cloud frozen in mud scanning for their signal. It's 30,000 years from any Sunday papers. The news is grainy. The jobs at Beacon Hill brickworks are down to their last layers of clay when the school leaver strikes human deposits. Flint points cut from the core. A scattering of bones stops work and reels in the experts with free running water and full spectrum analysis. The school leaver palms the core and stoves it in a sock drawer, sells it down the pub to a science teacher with a ley line handbook. Years later, older, wider, he can see bushes breathing in the breeze, swelling as if they knew just where to blow their blossom, the painter standing back to shift the spectrum of his palette, cobalt, Chinese white, 
panes grey for the sky behind the copse. Brushes loaded, aligned to depth and distance, the vanishing point of the furthest signal. Ice forms at the edge of the epoch. I see top coats and winter sun, the old kingdom buckling the tarmac, a breeze as light as crinoline, winter gods rising from the archaeological dig, trailing clouds of dark matter. Like the sun, time develops spots, the shade of the willow attending to its needlepoint, a crown of beach burns against a western sky washed blue by storms, the dark air clearing to the far reaches of space, measures beyond meanings you know are there. It's midwinter, pivot of the solstice, Ice Age star patterns in the stomach contents of a woolly mammoth crated and packed in ice across Eastern Europe. Cro-Magnon summer fruits in a hazy amber of golden pollen and ergot, bringer of visions like these I lay before you, searchlights dancing at the water's rim, the flurry of waves in the wake of the westerly rusting the river to the sun's pelt of a young fox or golden fleece. Pastoralists Overnight, floodwaters rose to whispering distance. The wet slap of dream voices, first words forming like coral, fruitful in the orchards of the Magdalenian world. High grasses and wild winds burning through the spectrum to where they lie as man and wife. Pastoralists, their bodies not whole until melted together and fired like clay. wondered how many types of lightning there were. He took a blanket from the pile and settled on the decking of the founders on the Thames, wrapped up tight like an Irish air in an unbroken voice. Everything strikes twice. It's the law of a well-oiled machine. A pop-up from the futures market warned, be careful what you wish for. The broken parts of the world were everywhere falling like scaffold, the streets of the city lowing with livestock slipping and shitting its way back to gold standard. He counted twenty-three cranes over the city, their arms shrieking a semaphore of final demands, gathering forces. <laughs> 